Did she pick up a sniper rifle? It's definitely a single fire. It's not an auto fire. That wasn't the best idea. Damn it! Those guys are easy! You should be able to take them on! Where's your MWF, Shion? You spell ray! It worked, it killed those things in one shot. Maybe not the goblins, but... But those little guys, the manticores. See, even Allen got a kill. Shion, what the hell's your problem? Cosmos. Cosmos. Fuck. Feb? That is probably going to result in his death. Doesn't look like Cosmos cares at all. Down goes the goblin, though. This ship is about to capsize. Please make haste. Wait, Cosmos. Cosmos, do... Do you understand what you've just done? My assigned duty is to protect Vector employees. Protection of military personnel is not part of my prime directive. That's no excuse! You have no right to go about killing people! Why did you shoot Lieutenant Virgil? With your power, you don't have to sacrifice anyone to- At that time, Lieutenant Virgil was in my direct line of fire. Any changes in my firing position to avoid Lieutenant Virgil while protecting you would have resulted in a 30% depreciation in my offensive capabilities. On the other hand, with the Lieutenant's death, there would only be a 0.2% drop in efficacy. I simply chose the option with the highest probability to keep you alive. It's no excuse, Cosmos. Furthermore, the escape pod has a maximum capacity of two occupants. I believe it is obvious who gets priority. How that is an excuse. How can you even say that? Have you no conscience? No! Shion, you forget I am not human. I am merely a weapon. You, of all people, should be well aware of that fact. What is your decision? Will you board the escape pod, or will you not board the escape pod? If you wish to express remorse for his death, it is best that you survive. Otherwise, you will render his death meaningless. Come on, Chief. Let's go. Yeah, stay away, dude. She just killed Jer- Well, she killed Virgil. Charankov, get out of the way. Can you tell me anything about this cosmos? Giant Hebrew letter. Still think it's Alec. What the hell? This, that, this is not good. That is a giant gnosis that we are probably going to have to fight. Alan, are you in on this? Now is the time of truth. Game? Hey, what do you know? Game works fine, which is a big relief to me, because now I will say that it didn't work the first time that I did this. Okay, so we've got Skyfish and the Minotaur. So I was wrong. The Minotaur is the second boss fight. The first one, Cyclops. Yeah, I got them mixed up. All right, let's see if I can take on the Skyfish in one shot here. Hopefully my spell ray will kick in. You can get kind of crazy with your your builds when it comes to this. Is that enough? I don't think it was. No. And of course now this one gets a turn. Miss! And then the other one gets a turn. They do get boosts and counter boosts. Actually, I think uh, the Skyfish only get boosts. They don't get counter boosts. Oh, crap, we weren't even close to killing this guy. Let's see. I think I should be able to finish him off with an Arcanon, actually. Charging. Down he goes. And I get points for that. And I've denied his boost. Only two points. 
times too. Thunderbolt. This is why I equipped it on Coast Mouse. So I don't have very good ether defense. I don't want, you know, you're not supposed to say magic defense. It's not magic, it's ether. Very good defense against it, though. Uh, I think I'm doing pretty good here, so I'm going to try to take out the Skyfish again. Uh, just like most most RPGs, you're going to want to take out the, the little guys first because they can do quite a bit of damage to you. Right. Not going to be enough there, but he's going to get a boost. We should be able to finish it off with an R cannon. I do like how the game automatically focuses you on your last target. And that should be enough to finish him off. I'm pretty sure it was. Points times four. Very nice. I should probably heal. Let's go ahead and use Medica. Come on, Ether Circuits. And it's the first time we get to use uh, Medica in battle on screen. Actually, the first time I've used it in battle, period. Oh, look how little damage that did to Cosmos. Nobody cares. Uh, so, yeah, you can get crazy with your with your formations when it comes in battle. A lot of people will tell you to put Shion directly behind Cosmos and then you know, she won't get attacked. I, I've never been for that. I, I just like having normal formations, everybody in the front row, using my tech attacks to fall victory. That is the best strategy in my book, 100% of the time. Now we can go for our cannon. Damn, we're not going to finish him off this turn, of course. But having that scope on at all times really does help me sort out when I can finish him off so I can get those points. Points are important. Eh, that didn't do nearly as much as I was, I was fearing. Let's get myself that boost and get off a spell, right? Uh, the Minotaur is weak against uh, beam attacks. I don't have very many beam attacks except for Spell Ray. Plus, it's the only thing that I can use against him anyway. This is why you upgrade. This is why you upgrade the distance attack, the dis distance tech attack first. Counter boost. Now, if they do counter boost, counter boosts override regular boosts. So that's no good for me. Gathering strength in order to fire gravity pulse next turn. Gravity pulse. Super. Am I going to have to use a revive on Xion here? No, she lived. Just barely, though. So she's going to need to heal herself. If you could do that as soon as possible, that would be appreciated. Cosmos is going to go ahead and boost, and I might be able to finish it off. Ooh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. I think I got it, though. Oh, down it goes. That wasn't, that wasn't close at all. Down goes the Minotaur. Doesn't look like a Minotaur to me, but he goes down nonetheless. Give me my points. That's all that matters in this game. My points. You better give them to me. Damn right. 51, 48, 18 level ups for both my characters up to level 7 now. Very nice. Two escape packs and a skill upgrade S. We'll go over that when we get a chance. I don't think that's going to be for a while though. Cosmos is awesome with those dual machine guns. Did she just throw one away? No, she just whacked it. Damn, she is awesome. Makes me feel very inadequate as a main character when I play as she. Did they? How the hell are they managing that? They like figured out the system. Oh god, Cosmos, what the hell? What the hell is going on here? They're taking it away. This doesn't look good at all. 
Not in the slightest. They took it away. Where did the Zohar go? I don't, th I don't know what they want with it. I don't know what it does. But I, I remember that they, I didn't want them to have it. And there goes the ship. The little Glinda is gone. Did it sink? No, it didn't sink. No. The game, the game doesn't. It knows better than to have things sink in space. It, it appeared to, but that was just the direction it was going. That's a giant gnosis. Are we just going to stare at it? No. Okay. You're scaring me, game. Did it absorb it? Looks like Cosmos said something, but nobody could hear it. Affirmative. The what? target object was not the original. Why are you talking? It was the an emulator. An emulator? No, no, no. I, I got a capture card. Got it just for you. Upon deploying tracking device, I will depart immediately. As originally planned, I will head for second mill shut. Who is she reporting to? I thought she I thought Shion was in charge here. She's talking to somebody though. What the hell is that? What button do I press for that? So she put a tracking device onto the giant whale gnosis. And that's all that thing's for. And Cherenkov's just staring like, what the hell's going on with this thing? Looks like she found a ship, like way off in the distance. I don't see it, but you know, she's sorted it out. Are we on top? We're in this. Wait. So. Haha! <laughs> Would I like to save? Okay. Um, first, let me explain what's going on. Alan, Shion, inside the escape pod. Cosmos, Sharenkov, on top of the escape pod. Flying through space, Sharenkov's in his spacesuit. Now this here, this would you like to save screen, as we see Cosmos with wings and a pistol. That makes no sense to us right now, but maybe it will later. This means, and this is a big thing usually, when I ask you like this, the answer is always yes, because you're going to go through a long cutscene sequence most of the time. I am ready for this cutscene sequence, though, I believe, so I'm going to he go ahead and, well, I'm going to save anyway, but then we will go through this together. All right, let's go through this together. As soon as you exit the screen, it just continues on. What a mess. Whoever it was, they sure went all out. You think there's anything left out there? Hey, Tony. How long before the Federation gets here? Well, let's see. Last SOS went out a half an hour ago, so... We've probably got at least three hours, right? No sign of any nearby ships either. Right, Hammer? Yep. We're the only ship within a 5,000 light year radius. There's a huge radius. All right. That should be enough. Let's grab anything that looks salvageable. You know, Captain, I realize the deadline for paying back Master Guinan is right around the corner, but don't you think this is a little risky? If the feds find us out, we'd be lucky to get ten years. That's if they find out. You know the feds aren't going to patrol all the way out here in the middle of nowhere. I think well, his I hat says... Like the idea of feeding off the dead. I mean, what are we? Space jackals? Vultures? Hyenas? Scavengers. You moron. What kind of metaphor is that? Don't be comparing us to extinct animals. Oh, You'll jinx us. Extinct. We're recyclers, damn it. Environmentally friendly space recyclers. Master Guinan told us to stay away from any side jobs, remember? 
He said it hurts the Foundation's image. I don't know. Oh ho! We got a wrecked ship here, three o'clock. Looks like a Ganymede class. Nice work there, Tony. Good thing we were tapping the UMN emergency channel. Come on, pull in close, hurry. Yep, we're vultures. What was that? I think his hat said, caution, I'm a drinker, bonsai bonsai. That is an awesome hat and I want one. Spectrum matches up perfectly. It's a geocrystal. All right, not bad. Let's start with that one. What? Is that Cosmos? That's not a geo crystal, you idiot. It's a corpse. Oh. Well, what'd you expect? This is a battlefield. That's no big deal. Don't bother wasting fuel. Just keep going and let it bounce off. You're kidding, right? My dead grandma told me to be respectful of the dead. Sorry, but I don't want any bad karma. You do it, Captain. You moron. What? Is that your grandfather out there? Don't be ridiculous. Just shut up and keep moving. Man, not again. Captain, this is so typical of you, making us do all the dirty work. Oh, it's no corpse. She's still going. You moron! What the hell are you doing? I said bounce it off! Well, well maybe don't not. look at me. It got stuck on its own. It's not my fault. Whatever. Just get rid of it. Yeah, how do you... Hey, it's a girl. She might be cute, you know? <laughs> my ass, you sicko. Yeah, you're kind of cooking me out she looks? She's dead. Exactly. Besides, she's facing the other way. It's a shame we can't meet face to face. Oh, she doesn't need to breathe. Please open your communications line. I need to speak with you. Frequency 2020. Ha! A talking corpse! You moron! Open your eyes! That ain't no corpse! This ain't happening. This ain't happening. It, uh, it's a realia. Or a cyborg. Something like that. But I've never heard of a realian that can operate out in space. Well, it's probably a military robot or something. Just open the channel. Like I said, labels are important in this game. Uh, <clears throat> I'm Captain Matthews of the Tramp Freighter Elsa. And we received your SOS signal earlier. It happened to be within range of our navigational path, uh, so we rushed here to your rescue. Huh? Rescue? rescue. Oh! Yeah. Got him. <laughs> so... Is there anything we can do to assist you? What do you mean, rescue? What about our side job? Relax, you moron. We're gonna grab what we can while taking care of this little rescue. For this mess, I bet there's no one left alive anyway. I will make this brief. I request that you gate jump to second Milsha immediately. Second Milsha? Say what? Oh, yeah. Keep dreaming, sweetheart. We can't leave yet. We still got work to do. And besides, second Milsha, have you any idea how much it would cost to travel that far? There is no need for concern. We will cover all UMN gate fees incurred. You expect us to believe that? Even if that were true, we've got other business to attend to right now. We don't have that kind of time. My time is limited as well. Failure to comply will result in the destruction of this window. <laughs> Cosmos doesn't mess around. 